Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, now, Ofgem, the energy regulator, they changed the price cap um, effective from the 1st of October. So, um, as you know, I've done a couple of videos about Octopus Intelligent and some of the other tariffs like OVO. Well, I've been just doing a bit of research and I want to give you all an update um, for the tariffs that I can find out there right now in October 23 uh, for recharging your electric car. Okay, let's start off with Octopus Intelligent. Uh, that's the one that I use. I still think, having done the maths, it works out best for me. But Octopus Intelligent, it's been rebranded slightly as Octopus Intelligent Go. Don't confuse that with Octopus Go. That's a simple time of use tariff. So Octopus Intelligent Go gives you six hours overnight at 7.5 pence. Sometimes it will give you additional hours um, also at 7.5p and it does that when you need a large charge or if wholesale electricity prices are going to be low outside that standard six hour window. So Octopus choose when those hours are, you know when they are because it's on the Octopus app and it does mean if you run your dishwasher in those uh, times you're going to get uh, cheap electricity then. Anyway for a while uh, when I started the tariff you paid a premium in the day cheap at night then recently, you paid the same by day as everybody else, uh, but cheap at night, and the pricing did not come down. So now we're on the uh, new price cap regime. Uh, the Octopus Intelligence by day remained at 30.5p. It didn't get reduced, but the overnight rate stays at 7.5p. That is the cheapest overnight electricity that you can get for any tariff. You do need a compatible car or a compatible charger. Details are on their website. But basically, if you've got an OMI or a Wallbox charger, it should work for you. And there is a long list of car manufacturers uh, that it works with too. Uh, another tariff uh, that's quite innovative. And once again, you need a compatible uh, charger that's either OMI or Indra or one of the cars on their list is from OVO and they call that one Charge Anytime. I've mentioned it before. Now with Charge Anytime, you don't pay a premium by day, you pay 28 pence for your electricity that goes to your house. And it depends on where the electricity is used, not when it is used. So it's 28p a kilowatt hour for the house, and then it's 10p a kilowatt hour for the car. And it takes data from the car or from the charger to work out uh, where the electricity has gone and it gives you a rebate so for that car charging you only pay 10p that's a very good tariff um, for you uh, because you don't pay a premium by day so if you don't put much electricity into your car most of your energy use is by the house uh, that will pro possibly work out the cheapest option for you okay other tariffs um well these are all requiring a smart meter uh, the reason you need a smart meter is it doesn't just need to know how much electricity you're using, but when you are using it. So um, they can all have off-peak hours. And I've had a look um, at this. So there are a couple of options, and I'm just going to go through them. So um, excuse me if I keep looking down at my notes. Um, now, E.ON, they have one called Next Drive. Their peak rate by day, uh, 33p but uh, their off-peak rate is nine and a half pence. So you pay a bit of a premium once again by day. Um, overnight, it's pretty good. It's nine and a half P. Um, the good news for that one, though, is you get seven hours of cheap rate. So once again, if you are shifting your dishwasher use into overnight, um, if you are charging up a lot uh, by night, uh, that could be quite a good option for you. Now, EDF, they also have one for... Um, for cars and that one the day rate uh, that's quite high 35p and you only get five hours at night but that five hour rate is eight pence so not quite as cheap as octopus intelligent um, certainly it's a bit of a, a hit for the daytime rate so you're going to need to shift quite a large proportion of your usage into that overnight period uh, just to benefit uh, from that overnight rate uh, without the premium working out badly for you. And finally, there is British Gas with Electric Drive. Now their daytime rate, 30.3p, um, so that is a pretty decent rate, and you get five hours overnight. 
Uh, they are at 9.4p in my area, so that is uh, pretty good. And finally, I did mention uh, that there is the sister product to Octopus Intelligent Go. That is just called Octopus Go. And uh, once again, you pay about 30.5p by day. You get four hours overnight at nine pence. So the cheapest time of use tariff uh, for overnight is EDF at 8p. Uh, that is followed by Octopus Go at 9p and British Gas at nine and a half pence. Um, but you do have to look at your daytime rate and what proportion of electricity you shift into that overnight period uh, just to see what the benefits are. Anyway, I've done a bit of maths, so here we go. So I've tried to um, get someone fairly more typical of an EV user than myself. Uh, my Audi e-tron, as you know, pretty inefficient car. It uses a lot more electricity than some. And um, at some time of the year, I also do quite high mileage. So, um, you know, my case isn't that uh, typical for many EV drivers. So here we go. Um, I've made a couple of kind of very, very rough assumptions. I've said that if you drive 200 miles a week, and you get about three miles for every kilowatt hour in your car, uh, you are going to use three and a half thousand kilowatt hours of energy for your car through the year. And um, and I just picked a, a number for a house of around 5,000 kilowatt hours a year uh, for your house use as well. So that is a grand total of eight and a half thousand kilowatt hours. If you did nothing and you just stayed on a default tariff, you paid 27.5 pence per kilowatt hour, you are going to have an energy bill somewhere around £2,340 for your electricity, uh, which is quite a bit. Uh, now, looking at those ones where you need a compatible car or a compatible charger, there's Octopus Intelligence and there is Ovo Charge Anytime. Now, what I've had a look at with those is they will both save you over £500 a year from your electricity bill. They come in at under £1,800, a pretty similar amount as well uh, for um, the 200 mile a week, 3,500 kilowatt hours a year um, electricity user. Now of the rest, the time of use tariffs. Um, now I've had a look through and some are hit because of that uh, daytime use penalty. Um, so they, they don't work out the best value. So the best two are British Gas Electric Driver and Octopus Go. They're pretty similar. Daytime rates around 30.5p. Uh, overnight rates 9p with Octopus, 9.4 with British Gas. British Gas, you get an extra hour. So 85 miles a day um, at three miles a kilowatt hour is what you can charge up um, overnight with Octopus Go in that four hour window. So you can still do quite a lot of mileage. Um, and if you've got a more efficient car, you might be getting four miles per kilowatt hour, which will give you around 110 miles a day of uh, energy use. So Octopus uh, Go is very good and British Gas Electric Driver are very good. Looking at the others, well, EDF and E.ON, they didn't work out so good. Those peak electricity rates during the day of 33p and 35p, uh, they do have a bit of a penalty. So you do save money. You will save about £300 a year, but it's nothing like the saving you can get if you pick something with a uh, daytime rate nearer to the standard rate um, on that. So even though EDF is cheap overnight, um, it still works out amongst the most expensive uh, for your car use. So having done that, work that out, um, I just looked at a higher mileage user, someone that does 5,000 kilowatt hours uh, for their house and 5,000 kilowatt hours for their car use. And uh, once again, um, Ovo and Octopus Intelligent are working out the best. Uh, they will save you then around 800 pounds a year on your energy bills. So if you can get on one of those because you have a compatible car or a compatible charger, that is the way to go. Looking at the simpler time of use tariffs uh, from E.ON, EDF, uh, British Gas and Octopus Go. Um, again, if you're a high mileage user, 5,000 kilowatt hours into your car and 5,000 into your house. So 50-50 split. Now that's my kind of use, but I wish my electricity was uh, was down at those numbers. Mine is significantly above that. Um, but once again, British Gas and Octopus Go uh, work out uh, the best ones. It's uh, it's very difficult to overcome 
uh, that high daytime rate uh, that EDF and E.ON charge um, with their overnight electricity. So, it, you know, it is it is pretty good. The only thing with OVO, of course, is it's only about the car charging. You don't get any benefit for the household use. Um, but it does show, pick the right tariff, you can save a lot of money. Okay, so I hope you found the maths a bit useful there. As I said, you can save, you know, at least £300, maybe you know, double that uh, by picking the right tariff. Uh, so if you have a compatible car or you have a compatible charger, Octopus Intelligent is the way to go for overnight charging on your drive. If you have a very like low proportion of your electricity going to your car and uh, most of it to your house, uh, Ovo might work out better. And again, if you need daytime charging, maybe you're running a plug-in hybrid that needs uh, charging up after every school run, uh, that might be the better option. Uh, but for most people, Octopus Intelligent is uh, going to be the cheapest. If your car or your charger are not compatible, and it can be either or um, compatible, it doesn't have to be both. So if uh, you've got neither, um, then you're looking at Octopus Go and British Gas Electric Driver. Um, you know, the Eon seven hours overnight and the EDF um, eight pence overnight, uh, because of those daytime rates, they didn't work out that well. So uh, certainly on my math, my usage, it wasn't quite right. Um, but, you know, everyone uses different proportions of electricity, different overall. Uh, so if you can shift a lot into overnight, uh, use very little by day, uh, they might work out better. I would say get your own quotes. Um, if you, at the end of that you decide to join Octopus, uh, there is a referral link in the video description. If you click on that link, you are going to get £50 off your first bill. I get £50 credit to my bill as well, so that is very much appreciated. Um, so please click on the link and uh, join Octopus using my uh, referral code. Well, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, hopefully some more content along soon. I just started uh, just working on some shorts uh, with my son, so we're hoping to get some sort of punchy uh, one or two minute videos out there. And uh, we now have the second EV in the household, and uh, Ben, my son, is working through the first edit on that one. Uh, he's the main user of that vehicle, so he's gonna put that one online very soon. Thanks for tuning in once again. Please like and subscribe to the channel.